And we begin tonight on the Capitol Watch, and it has been a most eventful week down at the State House. Important legislation was introduced that, if passed, could impact you or someone you love. KTVB's Morgan Boydston is here with a roundup of some of those big bills. Morgan Kim, tonight we're talking teacher pay, public lands access, and first responders with post traumatic stress. All three bills have been introduced and are making progress in the legislature. Idaho Wildlife Federation is introducing a bill allowing people to take civil action against someone who puts up gates or signs on public property, blocking access, or claiming it's private. I know um, that there are many, many people from around the state, whether they mountain bike, uh, ATV, hunt fish, pick berries, hunt morels, they are interested in coming and saying it's time that we create this law. It's an amendment to an existing statute. Blocking access on public roads, lands, or streams is already illegal, but currently can only be taken up criminally. By providing a civil remedy, which is found in other places throughout Idaho code, we can allow for swifter justice, we can save counties money, and we can hold those accountable who are willing to take public land from the public. On Wednesday, the House Education Committee voted to introduce Governor Little's bill to revise the career ladder and raise the minimum teacher salary to $40,000. It means having world-class schools. An education mission he pushed in a state of the state. As governor, I will continue our momentum to be an unrelenting advocate for educational excellence in our state. Proposed increases would be implemented over a span of two years. And passing the full Senate floor Tuesday, a bill that would change workers' compensation for first responders. It would be amazing if this bill would pass. So those suffering from post-traumatic stress would be financially covered. The first responders PTSD bill is heading to the House Commerce and Human Resources Committee for review and a vote. And if you feel strongly about the public lands bill, Brooks says you can show up and testify in the Senate Resources and Environment Committee on February 25th. If you want to read the bills, we have links in the story on KTVB.com. They're about the halfway point of the session yeah. and they're making things happen right now. Mm -hmm. All right, Morgan, thanks.